hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel in today's video I'm excited because I worked a lot on this video I've been trying this uh, eyeshadow palette for the past four or five days and I try to come up with a bunch of looks for for uh, you to experience and also I can experience and also you can experience so that way we can share our experience if you know what I mean <laughs> but anyway what I wanted to say today we're gonna talk and we're also gonna look at some of the looks that I came up with using a Morphe X Coca-Cola Ultra Sweet Palette and brushes their collaboration came up on June 19 this year yes 2020 the craziest year of our lives right um but they came in they came out with an eyeshadow palette also uh seven piece uh brushes some um, uh, um beauty blenders and also highlighters and lip glosses if i remember well <laughs> but i was always uh, only interested in the eyeshadow palette and the brushes i was not interested in the um, the beauty blenders but those actually sold out immediately so i didn't even have a chance to actually grab them but i was not interested in those that much because i have a lot of beauty blenders um but brushes i can never have enough so i picked the seven piece brush and also i picked the the eyeshadow palette that i'm so excited to show you i'm gonna insert footage with me showing it up close and everything don't worry about it you're gonna see it all put to a test for sure so this is the eyeshadow palette this eyeshadow palette has 18 shades in it you do have two uh press glitters uh one two three four five six uh four toppers and uh three three shimmers and all the other ones one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh they're gonna be matte so i tried all of them actually I put them to a test i know how everything perform but i want you to see first the eye looks that i came up with using this eyeshadow palette and then i'll have you back so we can discuss about it so hit it
now that you already seen how everything looks like and what's going on, I want to say this. Um, I had fun playing with this uh, eyeshadow palette. I had a lot of people complimenting my looks when I wore them, and especially when I wore the toppers or the the sh the um, shimmers or when I wore the sparkles <laughs> around my eyes. I got a lot of compliments about that. But there are some things that are wrong with this eyeshadow palette. There are some of the mattes that are incredible, um, incredible. Some of the mattes that are not that great. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about these. The lighter ones, the lighter shades right over here. They're really good. They're very soft. They, they go on the lid very smooth. No problems whatsoever blending it really pretty. While the dark ones one are a little bit harder to blend. They don't go on the eyelid very well. You have a lot of work to do. So you got to make sure when you're using one of the darker one, you get your hand ready to blend. Okay? Because you have a lot to blend. Um, now for the toppers. Mm, <sighs> They're a little bit, I, I was expecting a little bit more from them. The toppers are a little bit too, how to call it, not as, not as intense I was expecting, okay? So they're not as intense. They're still pretty nice, but not as intense. Now, the glitters are really nice. They go on the lid really pretty. They stay on all day. Like this one right now, I actually wore it all day. I have like nine hours since I had this glitter and you don't see anything on my face okay it stay there so once you put the glitter on you press it on the top of your eyelid it does not move anywhere and it stays there so that I'm really happy about but overall this eyeshadow palette is really nice you have your cool tones also you have a little bit of a warm tones you have your neutrals and you have a little bit of a red in there which gives you a lot of options uh, for eye looks to create so on the brushes also, I wanted to say that the brushes are really nice. They're synthetic brushes, nothing, nothing extraordinary about them. They're like normal brushes, but I do need more of those brushes. So I'm glad I have them. But I want to say the brushes cost $26.10. Usually they're $29, but I did have a discount code. And then I had the Coca-Cola um, Artistry Life. What, what is it? Thirst for Life Artistry Palette. It is. Uh, it was twenty two dollars, but I only paid nineteen dollars and eighteen cents. Oh, I also got some Suva uh, Hydro Liner um, in Cherry Bomb and another one in Space uh, Panda, but that's gonna come in a different video, so I'm not gonna count those in. So basically, I paid almost fifty dollars for the eyeshadow palette and the seven brushes which is not bad at all you know not bad at all but yeah i gotta say this one i mean 20 bucks does it is it worth 20 bucks it's worth 20 bucks but is it something that i would say you i it's a must have in anybody's collection no 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 <laughs> it's a nice palette but i feel like if you have any other different palettes that I kind of have the same colors, you can definitely play with them and can create looks like like this one is gonna give you. It doesn't have anything special, anything different to it. Um, there's some shade, there's some eyeshadow shades in there that are not doing very, they're not um, that great either. But I do prefer, I do like the 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 sparkly ones, and I also like some of the shimmers, like the gold one. It's really pretty. Um, like this one is really pretty and um also this one is kind of nice but you kind of have to put it on top of something light otherwise it's not gonna show up as much and uh yeah I, that's what i would say i do like it but I, i'm not sure i would be like dying for it to recommend it you know what i mean if you want if you just want the thing that is like coca-cola then go ahead and grab it but if you're not if you're looking for something a little bit more impressive mm, 
no <laughs> you know so that's what it is um but yeah i hope you like it let me know which uh eye look you actually prefer from the the four ones that i was able to create i'm probably gonna be able to create a next another one but i might do that and post it on instagram so make sure you what you follow me over there but let me know which one did you like second first second third or fourth i have to say for me the second one was the one that i actually liked the most because that's like my everyday look you know that's something that i that's my staple right that's something that i go for it all the time um the third the third and the fourth looks are a little bit more surprising it's something that i don't usually go for especially this red eye look i'm like whoa i do like how it looks on me but i'm like wow i never tried that how the hell and how does it look like this on me it's kind of <laughs> impressive to say but yeah that's it for today thank you so much for um thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for being here and uh, I hope everybody is okay and you're doing really good because right now the world is crazy. All right, take care of you and I will hope to see you soon. Have a nice one.